Hey, I'm so excited to bring to you today the upscaled to 4K video of Mo Norman from 1992 with Shot Tracer, where we can watch shots that he hit and hear what he says about his golf swing. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're gonna play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. Years ago, I was frustrated because I lost that. I was confused, I was frustrated, and then I met Mo Norman and learned the single plane swing. And so now, I wake up every day and I know I'm gonna hit it well, I know I'm gonna play well, I know I'm gonna have fun. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Hey, it's Todd Grays, welcome to the channel. So one of the things that I've been fortunate to do is collect a lot of videos of Mo Norman. This particular video you're gonna see here is one where Dr. Jim Suddy, who knew Mo Norman very well, a great instructor and I have become good friends over the years and, and he was very fond of Mo and he shot a video with Mo in 1992. And this video was grainy and he, you know, back in the day when you shot it on the VHS tapes, it wasn't in great shape. But what you're gonna see in this is I've upscaled it. I had a company spend time to change the resolution of the video so you can see the club better, you can see Mo better, brighten up the video. So you're gonna see a much better video of Mo. Plus I've added some shot tracer to the video so you can see where his shots are going. Probably some of the first time you're ever gonna see shot tracer on Mo. So I hope you enjoy the next clip. And as we go through this, I might break it up with a little analysis of Mo's swing. Left, left, left side of a golf course, I don't even know what's there. Hmm. Look at that. Talk about moving your head. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. what, what was Nicholas told me by grub when he was a kid? Yeah, keep it still. So they almost pulled the roots out. Mm hmm. What were you ever told in this game? Keep your head still. Yeah. Yeah, mine's like a rock, watch. <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. See how straight his arms are? Yeah. That's so he can get on one plane. He doesn't have to, he can stay on that low plane. It's unreal. What's your best club, Mo? Driver? Oh, driver. Never seven years. One one ball out of bounds? In seven, seven years. Seven years. What happened on that one ball? A little hook. Uh-huh. <laughs> little draw. What do you think of Trevino's action? Great. Yeah. Great. I do oh, too. Wonderful. Yeah. What? Thing out there now on tour, do you think? Anybody? No, not what I like. Nobody. If anybody, uh, Woosden. Woosden. I thought you liked Stewart's swing. Well, not the best, though. Okay. He said, who'd you like the best? A lot of swings I like, but he said, who's the best? If there is, Woosman. It's amazing, isn't it? I got very few moving parts. Well, what causes the back problems for all these players on the tour? Too much strain and struggle. Because they're torquing their back Too and using their legs? struggle. Yeah. Every muscle not help. They don't let, They do not do the main thing in golf, what I do. Mm-hmm. Let my swing balance me. Mm-hmm. I'm the only golfer living that lets my swing balance me. Mm-hmm. They're trying to balance their swing. In other words, they're using too much body? Sure. Look, I'm just, I'm just going to let my swing balance me, what, 300 yards? <laughs> See, I just had my swing balance me. That's amazing. Look at it. If you look down the line, here's what's so beautiful about, about the single plane swing. Is Mo starting the club on the impact plane. So you see him starting a club lined up with the arms correctly here. You see the lead arm above the trail arm. He takes the club back and he returns the club back to this impact plane. And that's what's so wonderful about the single plane swing because now he has the space to return the club back to impact. Now let's go take a look at some more aspects of Mo's swing. More compactness? Mm-hmm. If I go just a little, mm -hmm. just, 
and bring it away. I'm afraid to hit that in my downswing. <laughs> What's your extension on the backswing? Oh, okay. When I was a kid, 41 inches. 41 inches. I used to practice by the hour. Just training my muscles. 41 inches. Look That's at that. That's how far back I could get. Really? With your left? Yep. That's why I used to train my muscles. For mm -hmm. hours and hours. Put a coin. What about on the forward swing? 22 yeah. inches back through, my blade is still square. Huh. I see. Mm hmm. Hmm. Now, I see all that in my imagination. So you, pro long as you, live? you probably extend the club longer than anybody. I then. do. Yeah. Yep. Maybe Trevino would be second. Hmm. He's got more extension than me, but he's at the toe extent. Yeah. He's, first time he saw me, he said, you're the longest I've ever seen through the ball square. Square, this way. 22 inches. His, his toe turns over some? Way after. Not until yeah. after everything has happened. Mm -hmm. Watch, I'll keep the blade square way out, watch. So you can't hit it left. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Never. Huh. Never left a center. Mm -hmm. Either dead center or a little right. Watch a little right or dead center. <laughs> That's dead center. You don't physically try to drop the club. It just happens because of leg. Oh yeah. Yeah, leg action. But when I was a kid, I did. Oh, I used to you stay there for yeah. five, ten minutes. Just dropping just to stay it. There like that. Mm-hmm. You used to stay like that for five or ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Just trying to keep your legs flexed. Kind of. In a sitting position. Mm-hmm. You don't think then that like the they're teaching that the the left side it's not coming up, is it's it? It's too much dead motion. Uh huh. I they, see. They're swinging around the ball, not through the ball. Mm hmm. In fact, they're not swinging at the ball; they're hitting. Mm hmm. Last thing in my mind is hitting the ball. Swing hmm. at it. Watch here. A million dollar swing. Watch. Yeah, it is pretty good. A million dollar swing. <laughs> I can't argue with you. Tell me. Especially you got it on film, too. Oh, you think yeah. it was luck here? No Watch again. Now you keep the right foot on the ground for what reason now? It keeps it more stable. More stable? Sure. And you don't go to the outside of the left foot ever? Ever. Never. Never. Where's your weight at impact then? Do you feel like it's left or right? Both. 60-40. 60-40 right? On the left foot. 60-40 60, on the left. On the left. Watch, I'll redo it here, hit a 300 one. So actually you think the modern player is getting too much weight to the left side? Too quickly. Too quickly. The motion is stopping too quickly. And the club is still moving, but their, their legs aren't. Ah, I see. Yeah. They got the reflex action. Right. Which is bad. So they got to get real handy then. They're playing catch up. Right. Watch this. That's good there. Just as pure as a driven snow. Boy, oh, that is. You know, I want to talk about swing plane in this section because this is kind of a misnomer for a lot of people. What is swing plane? And here's what it comes down to. When you see Mo make a swing motion, everybody says, well, it looks like he's reaching for the ball. And it's actually his distance from the ball is being dictated by the length of the club. So a driver's here and let's say a seven iron's here. So the, the distance from the ball is being directed by the length of the golf club. Well, he's putting the club on its plane. That's, this club is designed to be on this plane. And then he's lining his arms up with the plane of the club. That's where he's gonna be at impact. So when you see him set up correctly, he starts the club on the impact plane. That's what you see the orientation here, starting correctly where he's gonna impact. Now. What's great about it is that you can see certain places in the swing here, here, club goes down the line, impact back to the plane, extension along with the arms, and then back to the plane. So you see throughout the swing motion that Mo has allowed the club to plane everywhere. That's why we call it the single plane swing. This single plane orientation is what makes it so much easier for Mo to square the face at impact. Well, why is that? Why is the face 
square up easier with the, with the proper speed with Mo's swing. Here's why. Because he's moving the body in the least amount of motion possible to produce the proper path of the club. Let me say that again. He's moving the body the least amount necessary to get the proper path of the club and because of the position of his body, it orients the face to a square position more consistently because of his tilt. How is he doing that? Well, let's just talk about body motion then. If I put the club on its impact plane to start and I take it back, that's the least amount of rotation I can have to effectively bring the club back down and square the face. For example, you would say, well, that's less rotation, Todd. However, in the downswing, that, that plane will not hit a golf ball. I have to actually put the club onto a plane and then bring it back down. So if you didn't have rotation, you would have to create it. Well, you're creating rotation during the motion, right? Now that's where you get in trouble because if I don't have, let's say I had a steep plane, which is less rotation here in the backswing, I've got to increase that amount of rotation coming down while I'm in motion. What you want is the ideal amount of rotation going back so it has less deviation, that's what I call it, deviation, coming down to square the club. So I want the most efficient. That's, that's a term that you have to use, efficiency. Efficient back, efficient down. So the most efficient motion. So watch this again. I set up on the impact plane, efficient back and efficient down, and it makes it super easy to get the club back to impact. That's what you see, and that's why swing plane is such an important part, because swing plane is starting the club where you want it at impact, least amount, most efficient motion of the arm, most effective way to square the face, the most effective use of the arms during the swing, which is why we call it swing plane. Hope you enjoyed that content today. Give me a bell icon, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you enjoy this content because I'm going to teach you more about Mo Norman and the single plane swing.